calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid added to the magnesium oxide for three months right so what is happening is that a technician wants to determine the percentage purity of magnesium oxide it dissolves a 4.5 gram symbol of the magnesium oxide in 100 centimeter cube hydrochloric acid of concentration 2 moles per decimeter cube so 4.2.1 we're looking for the number of moles of hydrochloric acid the mistake that a lot of people would do in a question like this they would say that uh, the number of moles is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass right uh, it seems correct but it is not the mass that is given here is the mass of magnesium oxide right and we are looking for the number of moles of hydrochloric acid that mass is for magnesium oxide and not hydrochloric acid for hydrochloric acid we have the volume and the concentration that's what we're supposed to use to find the number of moles of hcl so if we go ahead and do that we're gonna have uh, the number of moles being equal to the concentration multiplied by the volume so the concentration uh, that is two moles per decimeter cube and then uh, the volume is a hundred centimeter cube which we're going to convert to decimeter cube by dividing by a thousand right and then if you put that in your calculator you should get 0.2 moles right so that is uh, the number of moles of hydrochloric acid added to the magnesium oxide right and then uh, moving to 4.2.2 uh, so the question here is saying that um, the technician uh, uses an apparatus below to titrate the excess hydrochloric acid in the above solution against the sodium hydroxide solution right and then you can see the setup there and then 4.2.2 write down the name of apparatus q in the diagram above right so let's look at the uh, above diagram and look at apparatus q right so apparatus q is a burette uh, usually for this kind of questions it's either you're given a burette or you're given a pipette uh, one between the two right and then looking at uh, 4.2.3 so let's look at 4.2.3 so we're given uh, quite a few indicators a b c and their ph ranges and the question is saying which one of the above indicators is most suitable to indicate the exact and point in this titration give a reason for the answer uh, when you have a weak acid when you have a weak acid uh, plus a strong base plus a strong base uh, your resulting ph at end point so your ph will be um, greater than seven right and then if you have a strong acid so you have a strong acid plus a weak base then your ph will be less than seven right and then for our third case uh, if you have a strong acid plus a strong base so now we have a strong acid and a strong base uh, your ph at end point will approximately be equals to seven right uh, the same thing is true when you have a weak acid plus a weak base uh, again your ph will be approximately seven right and then in our case we have magnesium oxide plus hcl right we know fully well that hydrochloric acid is the strong acid what you might not know is that magnesium oxide is a strong base so we have a strong acid and a strong base so our resulting ph will approximately be seven our indicator when that is the case is indicator b right when uh, the ph is between six and 7.6 so the answer for 4.2.3 is b and then uh, the reason why that is the case we have a titration between a strong acid and a strong base right that is 4.2.3 and then if we have a titration between a strong acid and a strong base uh, the ph will approximately be 7 at n point right let's uh, go ahead and do a uh, 4.2.4 during the titration the technician uses distilled water to wash any sodium hydroxide spilled 
again the size of the flask in the solution give a reason why the addition of distilled water to the flask will not influence the result what you have to think about is the fact that water is going to act as a solvent right so water acts as a solvent x as a solvent right and then if uh, that is the case it simply means that uh, the number of moles so we have the number of moles of acid are going to remain the same so the number of moles of acid will remain the same so the addition of water is not going to have any effect on how soon or how late we reach our end point uh, 4.2 2.5 at the end point of the titration he finds down 21 centimeter cube of a 0.2 moles per decimeter cube sodium hydroxide solution has neutralized the excess hydrochloric acid calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric in excess right so initially uh number of moles of hcl initial number of moles of hcl initial uh, that is 0 0.2 moles right uh, this is the first thing we calculated and you're gonna see why i'm bringing that up very soon now we're looking for the number of moles of hcl in excess so the hcl in excess was neutralized by sodium hydroxide how much sodium hydroxide was used to neutralize the hcl that's what is going to take us to the number of moles of hcl in excess so uh, we had a concentration of 0 0.2 moles per decimeter cube for sodium hydroxide uh, with the volume of 21 centimeter cube right so you can see that uh we have a balancing coefficient of one is to one when hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide so we can just say that uh, the number of moles of base is equal to the number of moles of our acid and that will be equal to the concentration multiplied by the volume right so the concentration of our base uh, that is 0 0.2 and then the volume we're gonna have 21 divided by 1000 right and then if you multiply those two numbers you're gonna get 4.2 times 10 to the minus 3 moles so these are the number of moles of hcl in excess these are the number of moles of hcl in excess so the number of moles of hcl in excess is equal to 4.2 times 10 to the minus 3 moles 4.2.6 4.2.6 uh, the balance equation for the reaction between hydrochloric acid and magnesium oxide is uh, there we have it it is given to us magnesium oxide plus hydrochloric acid to get mgcl2 plus 2h2o right the question is saying uh, let's calculate the percentage purity of the magnesium oxide assume that only the magnesium oxide in the 4.5 gram symbol reacted with the acid right so again back to the basics percentage purity is equal to the mass of the pure divided by the mass of the sample right we have the mass of the sample is 4.5 grams so what we need to find is the mass of the pure how are we gonna do that right so let's not forget that initially at the very start we had mgo plus hcl and then at the end of that reaction there was some hcl in excess which tells us that uh, all the pure magnesium oxide reacted uh, with the hcl and we had some hcl in excess if we can find the number of moles of hcl so the number of moles of hcl that reacted then we're going to be able to find the number of moles of mgo right magnesium oxide so the number of moles of hcl that reacted with the magnesium oxide uh, will be equal to the number of moles of hcl initial initial minus the number of moles of hcl in excess as soon as you can wrap your head around this idea then you are done with s's and bases this is actually the difficult part being able 
you analyze the situation and see that this is what is actually happening initially we had some hcl we had some hcl and then it reacted with magnesium oxide and then we are told that there was some hcl in excess that then reacted with naoh we have uh, the initial number of moles of hcl and then here in step two we have the number of moles of hcl in excess so if we say initial minus excess then we're going to find the number of moles of hcl that reacted with the magnesium oxide right so let's let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and do that uh, the number of moles of hcl initial uh the first question we calculated it was 0 0.2 minus the number of moles of hcl in excess uh, which we just calculated not long ago it is 4.2 times 10 to the minus 3. this is equals to 0 0.196 moles right so now we have the number of moles of hcl that reacted with the magnesium oxide right but then don't forget we need the percentage purity of magnesium oxide so we now actually have to use this number of moles of hcl to find the number of moles of magnesium oxide right using the balancing coefficient so we can say that the number of moles of hcl divided by the number of moles of magnesium oxide is equal to the balancing coefficient of hcl is two and that of magnesium oxide is one so the number of moles of magnesium oxide will be equals to 9.8 times 10 to the minus 2 moles, right? So now we have the number of moles of magnesium oxide. We can then say that uh, the mass is equals to the number of moles multiplied by the molar mass. The number of moles, that is 9.8 times 10 to the minus 2 multiply by the molar mass which is 40 right so if you put that in your calculator you should get 3.92 grams right and then the last step the percentage purity so now we can say that uh, the percentage purity will be goes to 3.92 divided by 4.5 multiplied by 100 right and that is 87 0.11